So far we've looked at slopes in just a plane with a grid on it. Now let's think about what slopes look like if we're in a coordinate plane. So I'm going to draw a line in a coordinate plane. And looking at this line, let's try to figure out its slope. I can find two points that are on nice grid lines. What's the slope? Well, we have a run of three and a rise of two. So the slope is two-thirds. And we can just read that off the graph just by counting out distances. And that works great when the numbers are three and two. What if the numbers are not three and two? Right, what if the numbers were 37 and 41? We probably wouldn't want to count those out. There is a way to take advantage of the coordinate plane in order to be able to calculate the slope. How? Well, let's look again at these points. We have two points here. I'm going to just label them P1 and P2, just so I can refer to them. P1, well, let's see. X coordinate is 1. Y coordinate is negative 3. P2, X coordinate is 4. Y coordinate is negative 1. How could we calculate the rise and the run in this graph? Well, notice the distance that we move up here is just the difference between the Y values. In this case, it's negative 1 minus negative 3 or 2. The run is just the difference in the x values. In this case, it's just 4 minus 1, or 3. We can calculate the slope then, and I'm going to use the letter m for slope, which is what we usually do, is the difference between the y's over the difference between the x's. We can calculate that by looking at the coordinates of the points, even if we don't want to actually count it out on the graph. Also notice, I just kind of arbitrarily chose this point to be point 1 and this point to be point 2. I could have gone the other way around. I could have done my subtraction in the other order. It's just that once we pick the order, Whatever order we use for the y's, we also have to use for the x's. We could also have done this calculation as m equals negative 3 minus negative 1 over 1 minus 4. Then we'll have negative 2 over negative 3, which is the same as positive 2 over positive 3. That being said, I always like to pick the point on the left as my first point because I like to think about slope going from left to right. It's not wrong to do it the other way, but going from left to right is a good habit.